Yeah, I thought I'd do a little video short on uh, my crane undercarriage and how it's coming along here. Um, you can see I've got one undercarriage pretty much completed. Um, there are some things. Uh, I decided to go ahead and just print the holes for these um, bottom rollers. That saves a step. I was going to put bushings or bearings in them, but I figured if I can print a hole that works, um, that's how I'll do it. So we got stainless steel shaft inside of those and on my sprocket, I've got a stainless steel shaft with a bronze bushing. This piece here actually adjusts with this screw on each side. That's a lot like the real thing. <clears throat> Um, these all screw in with a 256 thread socket head screw. Um, and once again, I was able to print the hole size to where it would just thread right into that uh, track frame. This is not quite done on this end. This end here, this is actually the shaft for the other side on the sprocket. I've got to redesign this piece here. Um, and that was my first idler attempt. Um, I'm going with the, I decided to change the idler. That one, I don't know why I put eight spokes in it. They're supposed to have six. So I've got a six spoke idler and I've got a bearing, uh, some ball bearings. So this shaft will be smaller and it won't go all the way through because on the real thing, these rods go all the way past this uh, idler. They have a stop bolt or a head on them. Anyway, just kind of wanted to give you an update. Um, it actually rolls pretty good. These top idlers are threaded as well with a 256 socket head screw, so these can be taken off, replaced. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, kind of where I'm at on it. <clears throat> I've not got a lot done. One thing I think I need to do is raise, I actually think I need a bigger top idler. These should be up just a little bit higher. And I don't know if I need to change the height to these or the actual diameter of the, um, I was trying to make them simple and use the same size as I did on the bottom. <clears throat> Cause it takes a little while to design those. But anyway, that's uh, that's where I'm at on the Link Belt LS50 undercarriage. <clears throat>